Lucasfilm has no plans to digitally recreate Carrie Fisher uh, for future Star Wars movies. <sighs> That's the big news coming out. And really, this will be a touchy conversation maybe for some. There's really no uh, right or wrong answers here. It's In terms of how do you honor someone who passes away with future movies, there's various approaches. For example, I mean, Paul Walker unfortunately passed away. We talked about it on the podcast in the earlier days of the podcast and how, how much that bothered us when they were filming uh, Fast 7. He passed away in the middle of shooting. So much, I mean, they shot a chunk of his scenes, but they had to shut down production of, 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 on the film for like, what, eight months before they started shooting again. They had to rewrite a chunk of the movie. They had to hire his brothers as stand-ins and had to digitally recreate them in order to make sense, in order to write them out and to honor him at the same time. And from what, I, what I've uh, heard, I haven't seen it, but they did an admirable job the best they could, making the bad out of a horrific situation, like, absolute horrific situation. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman died before finishing the Hunger Games. They had to digitally recreate him. Um, there's been it's been about five to ten things like that. Um, uh, when uh, Heath Ledger died, they didn't finish uh, filming. Uh, what was that last movie he worked on? Where they had to hire three other actors in order to do uh, certain scenes with uh, of him in his place, like Colin Farrell. Uh, the Imaginarium of Doctor Parnassus. That one they had to do some little trickery here and there, but he was in the middle of filming that. And then now you come to Carrie Fisher, who had finished shooting. The good news, I mean, there's not I mean, good news. Carrie Fisher died, and it's a tra- it's a tragedy. Even though she was 60, you know, it could happen. I mean, that's the danger. You bring back these franchises after being away. These actors haven't acted in these roles for 35 years. Harrison Ford, Jesus Christ, he had his foot almost fucking cut off by a Millennium Falcon door when filming. It was crushed, and he crashed a goddamn plane. You know, when they were in production of Star Wars Episode 7. He crashed, he crash landed a small plane and walked away from that. So, I mean, that's a different circumstance than dying of, of cardiac arrest or a heart attack or however uh, Miss Fisher died. But people get older, you have these movies come out. I mean, I don't know how you get away with these, especially like, it's almost like Harrison Ford does one movie. But then he's got to be around potentially then for uh, doing two more. That's like f- another four or five years. She's got to be alive to shoot it. Carrie Fisher, the same thing. She's got to be around for four or five years to shoot three movies, potentially. Um, the same way in The Hobbit, they brought back... Uh, what's his name? Who died? Uh, Christopher Lee. 90 years old. He comes back, went out like a fucking champ was great in the limited time they digitally helped them move around and had some people understand that uh, but that was 10, 11 years in between filming they started filming The Lord of the Rings in like 99 and I think they started production on The Hobbit something like, I don't know, 2010 so, uh, so at least 10 years at least 10 years in between filming uh these two sets of movies with an actor who was already 80 years old in the other movies. You're playing with fire when it comes to this stuff because uh, time beats us all. No one's beaten, beaten that fucking guy yet. People have gotten close, but time at the end of the day will kick the shit out of all of us. So uh, here's the, the issue though with, with Carrie Fisher. This isn't just like Philip Seymour Hoffman where yeah, you know, he had to film a few more scenes. You can fudge around it, whatever. Or rewrite it. Carrie Fisher's a main character. Oh, Christopher Lee was 92 filming the final scene uh, that he did for The Hobbit. Holy shit. Good on Christopher Lee. God damn, what a champ. In a ton of movies. Anyway, so... Carrie Fisher is the leader of the Rebel Alliance. Or, the, excuse me, now the... Not the, the Resistance, whatever the hell you want to call it. The, the new Galactic fucking Senate... Or whatever, Republic. She's the leader, right? She had uh, only, what, three scenes uh, in uh, Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Uh, Supposedly, her role, I don't know about Episode 8. The word is on Episode 8, she doesn't have a huge amount of of scenes. But in Episode 9, it was supposed to ramp up. Because remember, her son killed uh, Han Solo, 
So you, you, you probably are going to have a scene with her confronting Kylo Ren. You are probably going to have, if God, if you didn't have a scene in episode eight shot where she meets up with, with Luke Skywalker, brother and sister, you are going to definitely have one in episode nine. Uh, now that's gone, unfortunately, that opportunity. And again, it's not selfishness. It's not being uh, heartless. But these are story arcs that you had planned out. Um, and it, it, and I'm not going to get on people for being concerned about this stuff because these are these are real story concerns uh, that you have to have. You, it's either going to cancel episode nine. You know, Disney spent billions of dollars on it, so there has to be a solution. And it's and it's a fan's right to to think about and ponder what these solutions can possibly be. You got a few different things you can do. It might be heartless, but you might have to recast. And you might have to start that with episode eight. Just so that I'm not saying you're gonna get someone that comes close to Carrie Fisher, but hell. It's been done in other movies. I know it's not the same like recasting Don Cheadle for Iron Man 2 as, as doing someone as iconic as Princess Leia. I understand that. But if you do it in episode eight. At least then you get audiences used to it a little bit before the last appearance in episode nine. At least then you can do that. But then if you do that, you're not honoring one of the final. I don't think it was the final thing she shot in her life uh, that she filmed. But then you're not honoring her if you keep her out of episode eight. So then that's the one big thing. So then what do you do? Then you recast for episode nine. Then it's still awkward if you don't want to digitally recreate her. I mean, hell, they're going to get someone and put a, a Mission Impossible uh, imposter uh, a, a Halloween mask on someone. That would be cruel. You can't do that. Do you, do you write her out of Episode 9? Do you kill her off in Episode 8? Or do you sort of just use footage from Episode 8 and then have her on a ship and that gets shot and blown, blown away in space in Episode 9? I mean, these are all things that Right now, Disney is scratching their heads or struggling with it. Who knows if they even have a solution yet. But they better damn well come up with one because the release of Episode 8 is less than a year uh, away. And if they have to change the plans for Episode 9, that means maybe rewriting part of Episode 8 and reshooting it. And they and they finished shooting Episode 8, like, what, six, seven months ago? You know, something like that. So these are these are questions you have to answer. Or ask, at least, and you have to answer them. Um, my issue, though, is that I mean, they might have a choice, but if they kill off uh, General Leia, Senator Leia, however you want to say it, uh, Princess Leia, Queen Leia, if you, if you kill her off, then you have two of the three uh, major characters from the original trilogy being killed off. That just bothers me, but again, they might have a choice. So maybe maybe what they'll do then, they'll take the, the Spock route from Star Wars. I mean, they might just do this. This might be the most tasteful way to do it, honestly. It might be the most tasteful way to do it. No digital recreation. No recasting, even though, to me, that wouldn't be totally awful. Uh, you'd have to get get over it. I think you eventually would. It would bother some people. Then again, there's no there's no, there's no no solution that would satisfy everyone. Some people will be pissed if she's digitally recreated. Some people will be pissed if she's written out. Some people will be pissed if she was uh, recast. I think they're going to go, though. The most sensible solution might be just to have an off- screen death she dies of old age or an accident that you don't see uh you don't show it on camera you just start up episode nine after a scene saying uh sorry to say we have bad news um that uh general leia uh passed away and they have like um some sort of uh funeral scene or something of that nature or some sort of ceremony the same way they did in uh, Star Trek the last Star Trek movie that come out for Leonard Nimoy and the Spock character because he showed up in the first two of, of the new uh, trilogy there that could be the way you go you you still probably have to rewrite episode 9 you man it's just it's just a tragedy all around I mean it's a tragedy she died obviously but then yeah I hate to say it, you're gonna have people pissed at the, how Star Wars uh you know, how do they resolve that that issue? If you think it's heartless, it's heartless. But that's what's something that they have to think about uh, doing. They can't just ignore it. You know, they got to do episode nine. They're not going to stop the series. The show must go on, as that good Queen song uh, stated. <laughs>